basically. Redditors want to know what would happen to Buster if we threw him out of a helicopter while he's inside of one of those giant inflatable hamster balls. Redditors want to know if the inflatable ball would break Buster's fall and allow him to safely leave a helicopter without a parachute. To find out, Buster's ride arrives. The big dog. It's going to be great. Maybe not for Buster, who gets to be the fall guy not once, but twice. Once in the ball, and once as a control without. But how will his injuries be measured? We've used electronics in the past to measure shock loads to things that we're testing. But there's an inherent problem with him in that a lot of this stuff that we do is so violent that we break the instrumentation in the process, and we don't get our measurements. So we've gotten in the habit of using these things. They're shock watches, and they're pretty basic and foolproof. I'm putting 50 G shock watches on the head, and I'm going to be putting 100 G shock watches on the chest, which is what it takes to kill somebody there. Here's how this is going to work. Buster and I in this helicopter are going to fly to 1,000 feet. When we get to 1,000 feet, I will then cut Buster's seatbelt, kick him out of the helicopter, and drop him on the target. That's our control to see what happens when Buster falls without anything breaking his fall. We're at 800 feet. Unpredictable winds won't affect the velocity of Buster's impact, but too much sideways drift could be a danger for those below. We're at 1,000 feet. Okay, Adam, I'm ready. Copy that. It's time to drop Buster. First, I'm going to cut his seatbelt. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a Mythbusters control. <laughs> there he goes. That was beautiful. Man, that looks terrifying. Every single shock watch was tripped, with a red line indicating a lethal impact. And no wonder. The math says Buster hit the ground at an estimated 120 miles per hour. So bring on the ball. All right, this is how this is going to work. Buster inside the hamster ball will be hanging below this helicopter on a tether. Now, because this beautiful machine is made for lifting and hauling, it's got a quick release on its underside. All right, here we go. So once we fly up to 1,000 feet, we're going to pull that quick release, drop buster, and I'll be able to watch his fall from right here looking down. What a lovely day. What a lovely day. Three. Here it is, Reddit. Did the reduction in terminal velocity dead, dead, and a giant dead, airbag dead, save dead. Buster? Ah, oh, very good. All right, it's judgment time. An inflatable hamster ball as a method for surviving, falling out of the sky, how do we find? Mm, not so much. It's busted. It's totally busted. Let's get out of here.